Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome to the Valder BB Show. It's Friday. I've got my first guest. Rather than start off with music today, we're going to start off with my guest, Dr. Eva Ballou. She's going to give us some tips on back to hosting for the holiday. She wants us to clean and disinfect and she said, just got easier. Dr. Ballou, welcome. Thank you for having me. Well, we are up on the holidays. The holidays are fast approaching. A lot of us have had family in town pre-holiday. So we don't want them to get sick or anything because this is cold and flu season. How can we best keep our families healthy during this cold and flu season? Well, there are a few practical things that you can do to help you stay safe and avoid spreading germs around washing your hands frequently, at least 20 seconds with soap and water, which a lot of people don't do, 20 seconds at least, avoiding touching your face, around your mouth, your nose, your eyes, if your hands are not clean. Um, Of course, if you're not feeling well, stay home, continue to social distance if you can, continue to wear a mask, Um, disinfect areas around your home, especially the high touch surfaces. And I always tell people to try to boost the immune system also by getting getting plenty of sleep, um, maintaining a balanced diet, drinking water and exercising. Okay, that's a lot to remember. I noticed uh, as people think COVID COVID has lessened, they aren't washing their hands as much. Uh, so we still need to wash our hands. We still need to wear our masks. We still need to do the basics in order to stay healthy and well, correct? Is what you're telling us? Correct. A lot of the, um, things that were implemented last year in 2020 are still the same. Um, washing your hands, everything you just said, washing your hands frequently, you know, social distancing, wearing a mask. Those are things that have not changed that we still need to continue to do. Okay. You guys are listening. I hopefully you're taking note on this. Dr. Ballou, what advice about cleaning and disinfecting during the cold season? Is it different than when we were in COVID or, or, or we need to continue that? We do need to continue that. Keep in mind that it's important to frequently disinfect areas in your home. And if you're trying to figure out which areas need to be disinfected, think of the high touch surfaces. You're talking about doorknobs, light switches, kitchen countertops, um, tables, kitchen sinks, you know, toilets, etc. cetera. Um, the best way to do this is by cleaning the surface first to remove dirt and grime and dust and then let it dry. And then after that, you can use a disinfectant um, on that surface. And I always recommend that you follow the instructions on the label first. You make me want to ask, is there a difference between cleaning and disinfecting? Yes, there is. And that's actually a very good question because so many people don't know that there is a difference between the two. When you're talking about cleaning, you're essentially just removing dust and dirt and grime from a surface by either washing the surface, scrubbing the surface. Disinfecting, on the other hand, removes uh, bacteria, deactivates and kill bacteria and viruses that are identified on the product label. Um, And that's what a disinfectant does. So the two are different. The two, however, come hand in hand when you are trying to keep your home um, germ-free. Dr. Ballou, I know uh, you're a board-certified internal medicine doctor. You work in a hospital, and that area is probably disinfectant. But at your home... Do you take these these uh, recommendations to your home also? Yes, absolutely. Because when you are coming from outside into the home, you tend to bring in germs um, with your shoes, your clothes, your dirty mask, 
or the items that you're bringing into the home. So yes, you need to continue to implement those practices even in the home especially if you are planning on inviting people into your home, if you're planning on gathering safely during the holiday season. I know this opportunity I have to speak with you is provided by Pine Saw. What role does Pine Saw play in this disinfecting? I do recommend using the original Pine Saw multi-surface cleaner because with that one cleaner, you are fighting dirt, grime, um, grease. You are also um, deodorizing your home. You're also disinfecting those high touch surfaces using the pine salt. So that's something that I do recommend using. All right, Dr. Ballou, thank you so very much for that qualified information. And where does my audience go online to find out more about the product itself and about the practices? Pinesol.com is where you need to go to find out more. Dr. Ballou, thank you for stopping by the Valder BB Show and helping us being healthier and cleaner for the holidays. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. Have a good day. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free, head on over to myphonepouch.com. <laughs>